Earlier this week, Dolce & Gabbana revealed its spring-summer collection would include abayas and hijabs in select countries. But D&G aren't the only ones tapping into the Islamic fashion market. The past year has arguably made Islamic fashion more mainstream. After H&M included a Muslim model wearing a hijab in a video campaign, and brands like Monique Lulier, Tommy Hilfiger, and DKNY launched Ramadan collections. Hijab literally means cover and dates back to 13 BC, although its use has changed over time. First, the hijab was for elites, then it was worn for religious reasons, and now it has both a religious and cultural significance. It's unlikely the sole goal of these companies is to promote cultural awareness. The Islamic fashion industry is on the rise. Some estimate that by 2020, it'll be worth around $327 billion, which means there's an estimated 6% increase in the industry's worth each year. Some experts say this steady increase is an outlier compared to other sections of the fashion industry that are currently down due to a worldwide economic recession. Dolce & Gabbana's collection isn't in the U.S. yet, but it will be in main fashion hubs like Paris, London, Milan, and Munich. The line is facing some criticism. Some of the abayas show more leg than what would be traditionally exposed with the use of cutouts and sheer material. And some criticize that the models don't look Middle Eastern, which is interesting because the press release for the campaign said DNG wanted to tell an enchanting visual story about the grace and beauty of the marvelous women of Arabia. For Newsy, I'm Melissa Prax.